time in history, all four belts in the cruiserweight division will belong proudly around the waist of one man. Coop and Cassius, IFL TV, MTK Global, at the public workout here for Lucas Brown and Dylan White this Saturday night from the O2. I'm joined by Lucas Brown. How are you, sir? Very good, my friend. How are you? I'm all good. I'm all good. Uh, just had a little uh, public workout there, not showing too much away. No, I don't think I should. Um, there's a lot of things in the toolkit that are going to come out on the night, um, so there's no need to sort of, yeah, bring them out just yet. Watching the gloves are off the other day, it was quite intriguing. Uh, sort of the battle of the wits, that is. I suppose the gloves are off, but um, yeah, what did you make of that? I suppose you watched it back, Lucas. Uh, the, the wits and the nitwit, is that what you mean? <laughs> you always laugh every time I say something, it was good. No, I, I think it's good. I think he's at the point where um, he has to sell the fight and all that sort of stuff as well. So he's under a lot of pressure in that regard. So for me, it's good. I just chill out and just do what I want, need to do. When Johnny Nelson, or you were breaking it down to Johnny Nelson, what the actual fight was, in your opinion, one punch to land in 45 minutes, that's the way you see it? When you break it down into the nitty gritty, yeah, yeah. Like, obviously, there's, there's uh, yeah, footwork and, and boxing and don't, don't get hit and all that sort of stuff as well. But I've got 45 minutes to land one punch to buzz in for 10 seconds. That's it. It's great. Obviously, this, the build up to this fight started with sort of the dislike between the two of you. Has that got any better or has it got worse over the few weeks? I've, I've ignored a lot of it, to be honest. Um, I, don't, I don't get on my Twitter anymore. Um, I let my manager do that, things like that. So I've, I've allowed it not to bother me. Um, I've, I've, most of the time, I don't even know what he's doing. So yeah, it doesn't bother me. Is the only way you win this fight is by knocking Dylan White out, in your opinion? I think, obviously, if, if I win every round, they have to give it to me sort of thing. But if it comes to like a 50-50 and all that sort of stuff, I see myself, the decision going the other way. And that's just boxing. Unfortunately, he, he is the title holder. It's in his home ground, all that sort of stuff. So I have to put on a, a, an exceptionally good show, yeah. You said on the gloves are off as well that you believe that Chagayev was always going to be a tougher test or was a tougher test to what you're going to face on Saturday night in Dylan White. Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, Chagayev was a lefty, um, a, lot, a lot more experienced in the amateurs and all that sort of stuff. Obviously going into his backyard in Chechnya as well, that always made a difference. So for this one, it's a little bit more relaxed. Um, he's a right-handed fighter. We, we sort of know what's coming, so yeah, it's good. Are we to expect a, a violent fight, as Eddie Hearn was probably saying and hoping for more, more so? I don't think so. It, it's just two, two fellas that don't like each other that want to punch the shit out of each other, so it's great. I'll bring it straight <laughs> Blatantly put. Isn't it? Yeah, well, unfortunately, that's just the way we are. So, yeah, we, we, we're, we're two big boys. We're heavyweights. Yeah, all the testosterone pumping, all that sort of stuff. It just brings it back to, you know, um, back in the day where... It was more acceptable just to uh, to get in there and punch it on. So I think yeah, two gladiators getting it done. And you firmly believe that a win over Dylan White will get you a world title shot in 2018, sooner rather than later? I think it puts me in the position to, yes, 100%. You know what I mean? And no matter how you look at it, it's the number one ranking. It's a WBC silver title. And he's got good rankings across the board. So it's, it's a great shot. Lucas Brown, thank you very much for talking to Eiffel TV and I'm sure we'll catch up with you at the press conference on Thursday. Jeremy, mate, thank you. The first time in history, all four belts in the cruiserweight division will belong proudly around the waist of one man.